But first, a community coping with heartbreak a day after two young brothers died in a fire. Tonight, we're learning more about the boys and what happened before mm. tragedy struck on Fisher Road. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live in Gross Point, where hearts are heavy tonight. Kim. Yes, Glenda and Ellen, I do want to start with new information. I just got off the phone with the police chief here in Gross Point, and he says that fire investigators can confirm that the house fire did start in the kitchen of the home here on Fisher Road. And we are respecting the wishes of the boy's parents who have told us through friends that they are not ready for their boy's pictures to be aired just yet. Everyone's devastated, uh, and so we're just asking for prayers for the family. As a community comes to grips with the devastating loss of nine-year-old Logan Connolly and 11-year-old Briggs Connolly, investigators continued their search today to find out if the fire did start in the kitchen of the family's Gross Point home and why. What we do know is that the boys called their mom as smoke began to fill the house. Mom had just left to go to work and was on her way to work. Uh, at the time of the fire. Around the points, people are leaving hockey sticks pointed to the heavens for the Connolly brothers. They both loved hockey. Briggs played here for the youth hockey program in St. Clair Shores, and Logan played at this arena in Detroit for the East Side Bulldogs, where we're told the coach is broken up over the boys' deaths. And at Richard Elementary, a crisis team, including grief counselors for the children and substitute teachers in case any of the teachers need to take a break, mourning for the brothers loved by so many. We're not going to be sure exactly what happened, whether the smoke they forced, uh, felt they needed to be forced to retreat back up into a bedroom, uh, which is what happened. Uh, again, you know, we always teach children to get out at all costs, get a window open, break it, whatever you have to do, throw a chair through it, whatever it has to do and get out of the house. And tomorrow at 6 p.m. at St. Paul on the Lake Catholic Church, we're told there will be a prayer service and hockey players are asked to wear their jerseys in honor of Logan and Briggs. Reporting live in Gross Point, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Such a tragedy. You're just praying for the family and everyone who knew that family.